<laughs> hey guys and welcome back to my let's play of Batman Arkham Asylum for the PlayStation 3. Oh, where do I begin? How about the fact that I had to start the entire game from the beginning again? No We're about halfway into this game, if not more so. Yeah. So, I got a new laptop, but it doesn't take discs, so I can't, as far as I'm aware... Patient interview. Pamela Lillian Isley, November 12th, 1133 AM. Good morning, Pamela. How are you today? Fine. Today is a special day. What do you mean? This is the anniversary of my new life. When I found my true self. My destiny. Are you referring to the event with Dr. Woodrow? Yes. What else? Of course, at the time, I thought Jason had poisoned me. But in retrospect, he did me a huge favor. And why do you believe what he did has helped you? He showed me the bigger world. A world I should protect. Of course, my first offer was rejected. Offer? You tried to kill everyone in Gotham. Well, sometimes you need to prove back hard in order to make something flourish. i got to remember when I'm picking these things up. So, uh, the new laptop doesn't take discs. And as far as I'm aware, in order to install the uh, whole pod capture for my... Uh, capture device, the Hallpog HD PVR2, uh, it has a disc. So, unless there's another way of installing it that I didn't know about, in which case, wow, I wasted money, uh, I got myself an Elgato Game Capture HD60. This style section isn't going to take very long for reasons that will become very clear in just a moment. I shouldn't have moved. There goes one. And here I go. These guys really shoot you fast in this. Look at that. Look how fast that took me down. Uh, so I got the Elgato. Uh, Elgato Game Capture HD 60S. And at first I thought this seemed pretty cool. My new laptop is way more powerful. It's actually built for gaming in mind. But much just the exact same issue with the whole pod. If I try to uh, export the recorded video, it, it naturally records it as a TS file, but if I try and export it as an MP4, it becomes a horrible, laggy mess with no sound. The video is incredibly slow and jumpy, and I just don't know what caused it. The whole pog did the exact same thing, but the Elgato is really freaky selective with it because I tried it. It didn't work with Arkham Asylum, and it did it with Arkham Asylum, and unfortunately, because the game is also safe, I went and had to start all the way from the beginning again. Right from the very beginning. And then it did it the second time. Then I was like, okay. Then I found out that it still records the original TS file. And I was able to re... And I'm, so it's the exact same method I'm doing before. Record it in TS. Then use that, convert that in Movie Maker into an MP4. I tried the VLC thing, whatever it's called, uh, but that doesn't like to work on me either. It either has no sound or just plain doesn't convert anything. And this gift. Yeah. <laughs> Here's death number two, by the way, because I can't, I can't, I can't speed this up. There's no knockout smash in this game. So it's just have Batman doing that like a dumbass. Harley Quinn was right. But it's so irritating. So I now know that, that I didn't actually need to restart the game. It was an interesting experience, actually. I've never... I always play this game really slowly. You know, just looking for as many Riddler things as I can. Because I never remember where they are. But I... Th thankfully, this time around, because I'm doing this right after already playing through over half the game once, I remembered where most of the Riddler stuff is. And so I was actually sort of semi-speed running the game. It was actually quite an interesting experience, just seeing how fast I can, just seeing how fast I can actually play the game. It was, uh, it was quite an interesting experience. I will say that. But I really didn't. I was so horrified when I thought I was going to have to do it a third time, and I was just like, right, 
I love this game, but I can't play it three times. Right, the, this, this LP is temporarily cancelled. On to Sonic Colors. And hope that works. But we found the alternative. You can't regularly download Movie Maker anymore, so I had to get it by other means. As far as I'm aware, it's, it's fine. This has come out fine so far. One video stutters. I'm going to have to try and work out how to do that because it causes the sound to go out of sync. But I think that's a simple enough fix in the, uh, the main editor. But the whole com converting the MP4 thing in El Gato, I don't get what it is that causes it to lag. Because I, as a test, after I did it the first time, before I started playing this, before I started this session, I tried it with Sonic Adventure. So same console, still the PS3. It doesn't have the PS3 cable, so I have to use the uh, the upscaler that I use for PS2. Works perfectly fine. And I recorded for about 20 minutes on Sonic Adventure. Came out perfectly. No issues whatsoever. Thought I'd try it with one more game. So I played Sonic... So I barely get away from this as well. So I played Sonic 4 Episode 1 for a bit. Did that for about 15 minutes. Came out perfectly fine. I then went on to Arkham Asylum. I played one of the stealth challenges for about, only about three minutes. Came out perfectly fine, but the moment I started this, all gone. I only recorded for 23 minutes. So about the same amount of time, slightly longer maybe, that I recorded Sonic Adventure. Why did one work and not the other, and why? Because I, I, I did that little test thing on the challenge mode the first time round as well. And again, it came out perfectly fine. About five minutes of perfectly fine footage. So why is it not working the second time? And that is very satisfying to do, especially when you can get him over the second leg. It was so irritating. I don't know why it has to all be this hard. I tried looking on... I googled it to see if anybody else had the issue. No, just me. Both capture cards. Two different laptops. This one, way more powerful. The sound kind of sucks, but way more powerful. And it still has the same problem. Even though we're using a completely different capture device this time. I love how small and how small the Elgato is. It's smaller than my phone. But why is this capture software still the same problem? I, mean, I love that it has instant game view now, so I can I could I could easily just play by watching the laptop rather than the TV. But one's got a much bigger screen than the other one. Come on, door. You need to stop this now, before it goes too far. Stop. But everyone's dying to see what I do next. Let him go now. Really? Okay, if you say so, that. <laughs> Whoopsie! No! <laughs> you really need to speed things up, Bats. At this rate, you'll never catch me! Again, the non-CGI cutscenes look terrible. <laughs> like, Batman's face had practically no reaction to anything during that. Well, if you go into this room first, you, uh, you will skip the cutscene. If you don't deactivate the electrical floor. Okay, well, the next room. <laughs> not this exact... Not this room, particularly. <laughs> there's our trophy here. I think there's an interview tape just around here. No, is it the other side? There you are. Joker teeth first. Patient interview. Pamela Lillian Isley, November 14th, 10.21 a.m. Hello, Pamela. Today I'd like to go back to something you said in our last conversation. Ask me anything you like. You said your first offer to help Gotham was rejected. How can you possibly believe that? Well, what do you mean? You released thousands of poisonous spores into Gotham, killed hundreds of people. How does that help anybody? I'm not interested in bodies, Doctor. Horrible, fleshy sacks walking around destroying my poor babies with their greed and arrogance. But aren't you one of those fleshy sacks? You're a... were a doctor, too. How can you turn your back on us? Quite easily, as it happens. But not you, Stephen. 
I reckon there's something else going on there, and we'll find out soon enough. Joker teeth. Right, so we've got to turn off the power, which we can do without at all interacting with any of these mooks. While well, they're busy with the other guy that's trapped to a chair. So do this three times, because it's got a gas bomb attached to it. It will explode, the mooks will run towards you, and then this happens. Yeah, there's no sound during this. I don't know why there's no sound. I don't know if that happens if you do beat up the mooks first. I really don't know. So in terms of going through everything the second time round, the only thing I'm, I know I missed for certain is one of the Chronicles of Arkham. So I don't think I grab it in this video, if not the next one. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, the next one. I'm pretty sure it's the next one. No, 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 actually, I think it is. I think it's at the end of this video. <laughs> That's the sort of reaction I'd have if someone snapped my leg. Are you gonna cut me free anytime soon? Yes. There's the only guy, despite that, he now asks how, how, if I'm well. You okay? I'm fine. But yeah, so we'll be seeing that Chronicle of Arkham again. It's the very last one I got in the previous part before I entered the Botanical Gardens because I never went in here while all the guards were still around at the beginning. So I didn't collect, I didn't get that Chronicle. So we'll be seeing it again when I leave the gardens this time. Makes a difference either way. She's hypnotised him. I mean, not to sound racist, but she's kind of green and covered in vines. Uh, I th she's got something that can hypnotise people. I don't know what it is. I assume you don't need the range amplifier for this. I'm pretty sure all your upgrades are optional. I wonder if anybody's ever done that. Complete these games without the upgrades. Obviously, you can't 100% them without, the up without collecting all the upgrades. But by standard story, is it possible to do all four games without upgrades? So there's our Chronicle down there. But yeah, it doesn't matter what, chronicle, what order you scan the Chronicles in, you'll always unlock the story in the exact same order. It's, it makes no sense at all, but that's how it works. Same with the interview tapes. Yeah, okay, if we turned off the power already, we wouldn't... If we turn out the power first, we wouldn't get that cutscene with Joker. Again, that button does everything. Like, what is, what is that button? I want, I want one of those. I probably won't blow anything up with it. But I still want a button that can do absolutely anything. And I like how I still try and use the line launcher. Because <laughs> again, I had the line launcher unlocked by the time I finished the last recording. I got all the way up to the point where I had to go into intensive treatment. So we got a good hour there, and then I had to get all the way back here again from the very beginning of the game. Luckily, Arkham Asylum isn't a very long game. I think it took me about five hours to get back to the start of the gardens. Maybe a bit longer. And that's the one I keep looking for when I'm in the vents, the rat catcher one. You'd think I'd just wait until I see the thing pop up on screen, but no. That's the way we want to go. The trophy's in the other direction. So let's turn around. There you are. There is some real, some real gross stuff in these vents that are always conveniently big enough for Batman to crawl through. Yeah, Batman likes to grunt a lot every time he does any sort of platforming or even just his evade maneuver. 
I think it does it in City as well, but they got rid of it for Night. I don't know about Origins. Right. In terms of Riddler trophies, welcome to the worst area in the game. So we already had one sort of labyrinth area where we can't grapple anywhere. That wasn't the case. And technically we only explored half of it. There is, a, there is more to it that we'll get to later. But this area is the absolute worst. There's a lot of stuff in here. There's one trophy that... We, well, I think it's a chronicle actually. There's one chronicle that we can't get to yet. No, I think it is a trophy. The chronicle I can get to. I'm thinking of, I can play, I'm thinking of later on. There is a chronicle in here. Which I do get. But there's one trophy in here that we can't get to yet because it requires the Ultra Batclaw. And again, why doesn't Batman just upgrade the Batclaw when he first makes it? I don't get it because he does it both in the exact same location. I don't know what Joker's talking about here. It sounds like he's decorating a Christmas tree, but I think he's got something to do with mixing the chemicals for his Titan. I have no idea what he's doing. Unfortunately, he only has about four lines, so expect us to hear the same thing again and again and again. Especially when you're looking for the trophies at this point. And there is a bit of story if you go in one specific direction. We don't want to go in that specific direction just yet. And it's very easy to lose track of whereabouts the stairs are. That was right next to the stairs, really, but then I went in completely the wrong direction. Just look for that sort of slanting pillar. Someone should really do something about this place, because it's going to collapse, and it'll probably take half the gardens with them. This is really why you wonder what the blueprints of some of these places look like. Like, who built this? Why is all this here? Well, it's another exciting map. Mug? He's not mugging, he's having a seizure and everything. Look at his foot! What is going on with this foot? I mean, it's the, is it the running water? By the way, this guy's like... Oh, there he is. He's really low res in areas. Look at that arm! I can't tell if, it's, if that's done intentionally or if it's just really low res. That's like PS1 graphics on that arm. We can hear Joker is attempting to use it on another move now, but he's not actually telling them what, they did, what it does. We'll never fight this mook, by the way. We never see him. So I'm going to assume he had a heart attack as well or something. So what you want to do is you want to come up here. You can crawl through that space. It does trick me a lot. It doesn't look like something you can crawl through, but there is. Question mark here. Again, another one that's difficult to align. Because how picky the game wants to be is... Totally up to it because I was having some real trouble with one of them. I'm like, that is very much in place. You cannot be more in place than that. But it just wasn't working, and eventually I got it to work. I don't know why it wasn't doing it. So we already heard this Chronicle of Arkham at the end of the uh, previous part, but because I missed the other one, uh, <laughs> we've already seen this. But it gets interrupted every time Joker says anything, anyway, so. Doesn't matter. I don't think I got any additional upgrades. So let's. What was what's the first thing I get? A sonic batarang. Useful at first, sort of loses its effectiveness when you get the second upgrade. The sonic batarang is useful for stealth sections. It creates a sound that one mook will go over to investigate, or you can then sneak up behind them. They will shoot the batarang if you don't do anything. But then you can't use another Batarang for a while. And it takes forever for it to become available again. The thing is, you can... when it, you, can, you can still then use another one. But if you're using... If you get the upgrade, the Sonic Shock Batarang. Any Mook that comes too close to the Batarang will detonate it. And it sort of does something to their collar. And then that causes them... That knocks them out. But then you can't use the Sonic Batarang again during that section. But there's no way, and there's no way of doing it unless they're far enough away from that Sonic Batarang that it doesn't detonate when you take them out. Otherwise, it's going to do that, and then you've missed out. 
We haven't missed out. It's, it's going to take out the Mook, but then you can't use another Sonic Batarang. So that, that, that's the problem with it. It can be useful. It's just that usefulness is taken away. Because of the Sonic Shock Batarang. So I do try and hold off on upgrading the Sonic Shock Batarang for as long as I can. I think I'd just focus on the armor after this, because there's no point in upgrading the explosive gel. It's no it's not of any use. You need it a couple I think you need it for at least one thing in Arkham City. And I think you have it by default in Arkham Knight, but uh, I don't bother using the uh single explosion single explosive gels. And I think the other one sets it off automatically if an enemy gets too close. Which I also don't want to do in case I want to use it on something specific. Right, finally out of there. Just the one trophy that we can't get yet. So let's make our way up through here. This is also weird. During the first run of this, the game was not letting me talk to this guy after I took out the thugs. So you should be able, I should be able to speak to him once he gets up, but it wasn't letting me do that, and I've no idea why. For no reason whatsoever. Are you it worked here. I don't know why it wasn't working before. They were gonna kill me. We were in the aviary hiding out. Yeah, sure it's convenient that there are a few that they don't kill. Are they still in there? Can you guess what we gotta take care of at the start of the next video? You've got to help them. Stay here. You stay here. I'm going to look for this riddle. What? I said I'm going to look for this riddle. It's just around here. Looks like all the king's horses trampled all the king's men. we got something for Humpty Dumpty. I think his name is Humphrey Dump, but I don't know. <laughs> there are some weird Batman villains. And that's saying something. Now, the name Isley just doesn't seem right to me. Whenever I read it, I, I want to say Eily. Why is there an S in Ireland? I don't get it. Or Isle or anything. Anyway, we got those guards to save, so I will see you guys next time.